everybody, it's Laurel Ann Stark here. I am just walking my dog on this beautiful Tuesday morning and I had a question come in from someone asking, hey, how can I get people to read my blog post a little bit more? So I thought I would take you on a walk with me today while I answer that question. So there's actually a lot that goes into getting people to read your blog post and there's a couple different schools of thought. So I thought a little bit about this before I did this video because I was conflicted. Like what? school of thought should I should I go with and I think it's a little bit of all of them so the very first thing and this is maybe a little bit controversial or whatever but I do find it works for me is it it also depends a little bit on the headspace you're in when you're writing your blog post I believe that the sort of enthusiasm or lack thereof does transmit through the text so if you're really excited about what you're writing that really really helps that's one thing uh, another couple of things that are important to remember is it's not what you're saying so much as how you format it so remember that I think there was a recent study published saying that we have about as much of an attention span as a goldfish now. So basically what that means is that people don't actually, they don't actually read on the internet. What they do is scan. So they're just like scanning your blog posts and they're looking for interesting pieces to keep them engaged. So basically what you want to do is you want to use formatting. Uh, so things like, for example, you want to use headings and subheadings to break up your text. It's basically like a high school essay, right? So you want to have your introduction paragraph, which states your thesis, a couple paragraphs expanding on the three main points of your article, and then a summary statement. That's essentially what you want to do. So use headings to break up your three main points. Uh, that's a bigger size font. It's usually bold. Make Take advantage of that spacing. Also pay attention to how long your sentences are. Typically for the age of the internet, especially in the beginning when you're trying to catch capture people's attention, you want to have your sentences be fairly short and use short words. So those are some things you can do to make it less of a barrier to read your blog post. Also don't be afraid to use bolding because again, people are scanning. So if you can bold key points and words, that'll help as well. Also, what you want to do is link from your existing blog post to other blog posts on your website. This is called making your page sticky. So what this means is basically I'm on your site and I am scanning and I see a couple links and you know, we're all very clicky. We're all very attention deficit. So um, it'll increase the odds that I'm just going to click something and basically stay on your website. So that doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to read more of your blog post, but it means they're going to stay on your website and stay engaged with you which increases the odds that they are going to be customers. So those are some of the tips that I've learned just around formatting your text so that way people read your blog post. And also don't forget to use images. So we're very, very visual creatures. I'm going to give you a sweet tip right now that if you use, hello, if you use Unsplash, it's a free image editing website, or sorry, it's a free image downloading website so you can actually download photos and then you can edit them, you can put captions on them. It's an amazing website to get royalty free, free stock images. So why not use those? Another thing is with respect to the heading that you have for your blog post. So it should pique curiosity, but most importantly, your blog post should really deliver value. So you need to know who your target audience is, who's going to be reading this blog post and what they care about, and then go ahead and deliver value. So one thing that's interesting is that blog posts that are approximately 1800 words plus lately are showing up higher and higher on Google than ones that are shorter. So if you can really expand into your topic up to 1800 words, I definitely recommend that you do that as well as, I don't think I said this yet, but using bullet points as well as bolding and whatnot in order to um, just make it easier to scan and read. And then another thing that you should do is somewhere on your blog post page, you should have a call to action. So this is how you get followers and this is how you get people to sign up for your newsletter list, but have something like where you're asking them to sign up for your newsletter or join your email list. So for example, I give away a free copy of my book. Perhaps you can just ask people to sign up to see if they want to get uh, say first notification of your new blog posts. Hi, let me know if I missed anything as well in the comments section. We're talking today about how come people are not reading your blog post and what you can do about it. I'm just here walking my dog. It's a nice, beautiful Tuesday morning. So far, we have covered formatting points. So it's not just what you're saying, but it's how it looks on the internet. Using images, bolding text, using links to your website, and also making sure you're providing value to your target customer. And that's one of the most important things that people typically miss. One of the ways that I write content that is valuable for my customers is I pay a lot of attention to the questions people ask me. 
And I'll give you a hint, this is where this video is coming from today. I had somebody ask me this exact question, so now I'm doing this answer for them, I'm gonna send it to them, and then I know for sure it's providing value. And if one person is asking, then guarantee there's gonna be a lot of other people who are asking as well. I hope you found this valuable. Please leave comments below, anything I missed, any further questions you may have. And also, please feel free to share on social. Thanks so much.